hi guys and welcome back to my channel well today we're looking at triple reverted double strap water joints for zigzag formation and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel when the best thing when i post on exciting videos i'm actually stopping a past question for 223 engineering drawing errors and we're only giving thickness to be equal to 0 0.4 to cm but actually we know that as far as rs is concerned all dimension are millimeters so we have to convert this to millimeter converting this to millimeter that's i multiply by 10 and i will have 4.2 millimeter now we only need to find diameter first before we can find the other parameters for the rivet now since we're giving thickness of the cover plate to be this i know that the formula for thickness of the cover plate is 0 0.625 t t1 where t1 is the thickness of the main, of the main plate so since we're giving this we can then substitute so in of this we put 4.2 equals to 0 0.625 t1 then the variable side we are coming of t1 that is 0 0.625 to give it you want to be equal to 6.72 millimeter that is the thickness of your main plate with that we can find the diameter the diameter is equal to 6 root t1 as the formula so d 6 root t okay it will give 5.15.6 but so you always approximate your nearest whole number which is 16. and the head 1.6 d it will give you 26 major 1.5 d to give 24 pitch 3d 48 2d to 32 millimeter and the length of our plates is equal to 218.4 millimeter. That's this one actually giving a question. And we're actually asked to draw a triple reverted double cover both joints with this deformation. With this, we can draw. The first thing I'll do is that I'll draw a straight line. The thickness of the main plate T1 is equal to 6.72, which is approximately 7 millimeter. So I'll measure 7 millimeter up. <laughs> <laughs> and then seven millimeter. What is that? from from. start from the middle. from. That from. as our main plate. Now let's look at the cover plate. The cover plate is four points, so that approximately four. So from this part now. Here, yeah, yeah, what to go 0.4 up, yeah, so which is 0.4 up, yeah, and from here, I'm going to go 0.4 down. Yeah. 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 Here to the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these three lines will serve as the layer for our three different plates. I haven't done that. What will I do next? I will pick any point here, maybe towards the center, and then draw it straight. Remember that we were given that the length of our cover plate is equal to two one eight point four millimeter. Now, to give even distribution, I'll divide it by two, which will give me one hundred nine point two, which is approximately one hundred nine in millimeter, but that's ten point nine in centimeter. So from this part here. I'm going 10.9. So it's not long. It's 10.9. And then 10.9. So that's okay, so I haven't done that. I also transfer that 10.9 and max up. Bring it down to the second line under. And then. So, having done that, remember that from the question, our angle here is 30 degrees. I'm going to apply this angle on the cover plates. So, basically, I'll place it here at this upper part. Okay? Let me show you how you can see it. This is at this part here. Yeah, and this is 90. Instead of me going 30 degrees, that is this way. No, I will start from 90. So this is 90, 80. That's from here now 10, 20, 30. Okay, so your mind exceeded it. Then I will just join. Then from here.
This is 90, we'll go 10, 20, 30. So guys, everything I did down, I almost did this up. And I also did do likewise for this other part. I'll just come and extend him by 1 cm from here. 1 cm. I'm putting our tree strap, uh, strap for this diagram. Let's start adding our rivets. And this time between the end of the cover plate to the first rivet is the margin. I know that margin is 24 millimeter. I'm, I'm, I'm coming from this way, okay? Margin 24. So from here, I'll measure 24. Now watch, I'm just going to measure this part from this part here. 24. This 24. Then, the time between pairs of rivets, I told you guys, is 2D. And 2D is 32. From this point, I mark 24. Come with 32. Then go on at 32 again. This is triple reverted. I need the three. I need three dots. Now, I'll do likewise too for this other part. So from here, I go 24. 24. 32. Now, on all these points, actually, Max, I'm actually going to draw, I'm going to say a vertical line on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm actually bringing it down. Okay, so I've actually done that for all these points. Now after that, when that our diameter is 16, I want to draw the rivets. So to do that, I'll divide the diameter by 2 to make it evenly distributed. That is 8, 8 millimeter. From this line now, I'm using this 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 um line I drew as, as my reference point. I'll be going 0 0.8 to the left and 0 0.8 to the right. Okay, I'm doing that for all the lines that I mark 0 0.8 to the left, 0 0.8 to the right, 0 0.8 and 0 0.8. I'll do that for all of them. Okay, so I actually marked that point for all of them. Now, remember that I told you guys that for triple reverted bus, bus joint for zigzag. You have three real and three imaginary rights. Now let's arrange them. So I'll place the ruler straight on this line. So from here, I'm going. This real one now will be straight. Why this now? Imaginary. So guys, I'm actually done with this. I just do that for all the parts. Now after this, what are we doing next? So now I want to draw the heads of this rivet. Now our parameter here, our head says 1.6d, which is 26. Now 26 is in diameter. I will have it to give it to, to be uh, evenly. Half it or half 13 millimeter, okay? So 13. So with my ruler, I'm gonna measure 13 millimeter. So this is 13. <laughs> now with this 13, I'm gonna draw axe. Now I'll pin at this point here. And then so I'll do something to down. Pin. How they would just delete that things like that? Then, so I'm actually done drawing the rivet head. Now, let's draw it to that part of it. At any convenience length, I'll draw a rivet, uh, horizontal line. I'm, I actually want to take 2 cm. So, I want to take 2. And then draw. This vertical line is straight. I will have to elongate this down. This straight line, please. Then this part here. So bring it down. 
in this last part here so I'm bringing it down now everything I did here for the location I'm also doing it for this part okay so let's start um, adding the circles to this part okay that's the top of our rivets now I'm starting with this real part remember this is real imaginary okay this is real imaginary real imaginary real imaginary okay now with this real part now I will come down with the margin the margin which is 24 millimeter okay so from here I measure 24 come down with the margin first 24 now after that I'm going to come down with the pitch which is 48 millimeter okay from here coming down 48 8 millimeter okay i have these two points now i will transfer this measurement to only the real river that is this is real i'm not doing to this one i'm doing to this one i'm doing to this okay the real part here and then the real part okay and then do, doing the one down so sorry i need to take this one here that's a mistake okay this one here now having done that let's do the mess get the points for the imaginary parts now this is our pitch right which is which is uh, 48 i'm going to divide 48 by 2 to be evenly distributed 48 divided by 2 will give you 24 so this is 24 let's mark the points now i'm going to transfer this this 24 now to the imaginary parts 48 then yeah and then yeah okay now having done that now, from the, from the first part, I transfer to the imaginary part here. I'm going to come down with the pitch, which is 54. Sorry, 48, I mean the pitch, 48. From, on the imaginary one, oh, please, on the imaginary. First one, I go with pitch, 48, and then margin. Our margin here was 24. Okay, so I can now tra transfer that measurement to. So, from here. Transfer. That's why I told you to do the um, imaginary parts. So we have here, we have here, and then for this last one down, I'm not gonna draw straight line. Okay. So those one, these lines are not actually too long. I'll make them longer. Now, I will get my compass and get the distance between here to here, which is this. Okay, and I will draw circles on this. this point. Now, I'm doing this circle for all these points I marked. For the points I marked. Okay, but just a quick instance, I will, after drawing the circle, I'll then come and measure here to here. This part here is half of the diameter, and then pin here, and then draw broken lines. Please ensure to put the paper under your drawing sheet so that so just leave. So now I'm gonna apply this thing now for all those points. I so guys, after doing that, I finally had this. So I actually did it for all those points, and I thickened my outline. Okay, remember here too. So I did the same thing too. I thickened all this outline, and guys, we are done. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Ensure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video, comment, 